Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Donizetti's Le Ristir d'Amore with conductor Ramon Tebar, which was live from the Gran Teatro del Liceo. I was anticipating this particular radio transmission, which I heard last night, because of the two stellar and exceptional singers, and those were the ever fabulous, ever flawless, and ever beautiful and graceful lyric dramatic coloratura soprano Jessica Pratt and the ever charismatic, ever charming, ever dashing, and ever wonderful lyric tenor Pavel Breslik. I'll gladly talk about their performances right now, starting off with Jessica Pratt as Adina. While she has a penchant for singing all of these tragic heroines like Lucia Ashton, Amina, Gilda, Semiramide, and Elvira Walton, she also has her fair share of portraying such comic characters like Rosina from Barbiere di Siviglia and Norina from Don Pasquale. And this was her role debut as Adina, and she was able to give this role a lot of charm, vivacity, and excitement. And it's all thanks to her pristine technique which she has been hailed for. There's no doubt that she was able to have a lot of fun with this particular character, and she was able to do a great job in providing her with a lot of well-needed high notes, whether they be E-flats or even an F. She was able to make this role sound really exciting. Yes, this role is mainly the providence of a lot of light lyric sopranos, but to hear a true coloratura soprano like Jessica Pratt take on this particular role is not only commendable, but very exciting. I have been wanting to hear an Adina who can interpolate all of these high notes. I have been wanting to hear any true coloratura soprano to sing this particular role. And for that, I got my wish. She was, as always, a flawless singing actress, and she was backed up by an outstandingly exceptional technique which she has been extremely well known for. She combined charm, great humor, and of course, heavenly musicianship. And she shone like the brightest of stars. Equally as outstanding as her lover, Nemorino, was the ever-charismatic Pavel Breslik. It should come off as no surprise that Signore Breslik has been singing this role for many years. And every time he sings Nemorino, he is able to find a lot of colors within his voice, which make his performance stand out exceptionally. He was so detailed in not only his notes, but also how he paced himself as a musician. He was able to put in a lot of charm, charisma, and lovability that I was practically on cloud nine when I listen to his performance. And you really have to hand it to both Jessica Pratt and Pavel Breslik as they were able to blend their voices so exceptionally and they sang as if though they were archangels about to open the pearly gates of heaven. Just by listening to these two exceptional bel canto specialists was enough for me to tune into this particular radio transmission and I was not disappointed in the slightest. They were able to put in a lot of vocal magic and they were able to bring in so much charm and so much life to their characters that they were able to stand out so exceptionally. So to both Jessica Pratt and Pavel Breslik, I have this to say. Bravi a voi due. You certainly stole the show as these iconically awesome and hilarious lovers. You definitely brought in a lot of life, love, and charisma to Adina and Nemorino respectively, and for that, I salute all of your efforts, and I salute you too as absolutely great singing actors. Then we also have Paolo Bordogna, who was a virile and absolutely alluring bel core, and it's all thanks to that 
full sounding lyric dramatic baritone voice which also has the depths of a true bass baritone that he was also able to do his part in being such a charismatically awesome performer. There were times my heart was full of elation when I heard Signore Bordogna's portrayal of Belcore. And it's all thanks to his masterful technique that he was also able to bring in so much to this wonderfully hammy and wonderfully despicable, yet also quite charming soldier of a character. He was able to bring in this machismo which made him so accessible as a wonderful singing actor. And he had this swagger which he brought to Belcore that could rival anyone who dares sing this particular role. And for that, his efforts are not only laudable, but are of the highest order. He certainly did an outstanding job bringing Belcore to life that I really have to give him loads of kudos for everything he had to accomplish as not only a comic actor, but also as a peerlessly awesome singer whose voice had such clean focus and an absolutely great technique to boot. Roberto de Candia showed a lot of exceptional musicianship as Il Dottore Dulcamara, and it's all thanks to his flawless and full-bodied baritone voice that he was able to have a lot of fun with this particular character. Yes, I would have loved to hear a fuller basso sound a la Fernando Corena, or even that of a bass baritone like Brinterfell, but I digress. I still have to give Roberto de Candia lots of credit for how he was able to portray this iconic character. He was able to bring a lot of charisma to the table, and for that, his efforts were certainly laudable. He did a very fine job as Dottore Dulcamara, and he was able to take advantage of his innate gifts as a fine comic actor. Mercedes Garcedo was an absolutely gorgeous, vivacious, and sweet-toned Janetta. And it's all thanks to her light lyric soprano voice that she was able to have a lot of fun with this particular character. This is an astounding young talent who has a great future ahead of her, and I would love to see her in a lot more leading lady roles. And I cannot wait to see where her career will go. So overall, the singing was astoundingly awesome in every single way. And you really have to hand it to Jessica Pratt and Pavel Breslik for leading such a strong and wonderful cast full of great singers. Whether it be the veteran talents like Roberto de Candia and Paulo Bordogna, or even the new blood like Mercedes Cancedo, each and every one of these singers managed to bring something so exciting to such a banquet that I was practically in awe of everything they had to accomplish. And they certainly deserve a great amount of kudos I have to give to them because of their hard work, dedication, diligence, and absolute mastery of their craft. And the conducting done by Ramon Tebar was absolutely amazing. He made sure that the orchestra paid close attention to the music. He made sure that the singers were on key and even made sure that the chorus stayed simultaneous and in sync with one another. And of course, the chorus and orchestra of the Gran Teatro del Liceo were absolutely amazing all the way through. So overall, with such masterfully astounding singing found in Jessica Pratt's charming and absolutely pristine Adina, Pavel Breslik's charismatically charming Nemorino, Paolo Bordogna's virile Belcore, Roberto de Candia's fine and hilarious Dulcamara, 
and Mercedes Cancedo's charming Janetta, and of course the great efforts done by Ramon Tebar's absolutely fine conducting, and even the chorus and orchestra of the Gran Teatro Liceu, this particular radio transmission of Donizetti's L'Elisir d'Amore left me with so many smiles on my face, not only because of the great artistry, but because of the hard work each and every one of them put to the table. And for those of you who heard this particular radio transmission of Donizetti's Elisir d'Amore live from the Gran Teatro di Feu, what'd you think of it? Did you feel like Jessica Pratt and Pablo Breslik embodied this Takahashi couple, as TV Tropes would put it, so well? Did you feel like there was another singer who stole their thunder, whether it be Roberto de Candia as Luis Camara, Paolo Bordogna as Belcore, or Mercedes Gacedo as Janetta? Or did you feel like there was someone that stuck out like a sore thumb? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of Donizetti's Lucia de la Mermur, live from Paris, also starring Jessica Pratt and even backed up by a cast of really wonderful singers. So until then, good night, everybody.